what's up? This is Coach Stokes, Stokes House Boxing Academy. You got to stay ready so you ain't worry about getting ready. What's up, everybody? This is Coach Stokes, Stokes House Boxing Academy. You got to stay ready so you ain't worry about getting ready. And we definitely are staying ready with today's very special guest. I got my man Don Reed and Dominic Reed and Coach Joseph Perez all out of San Francisco, California. How are we doing today, fellas? Man, we doing Pretty great. Good. Hey, I want to go ahead and start with uh, you, uh, Coach Don. Coach Don, man, uh, you're doing something which is very near and dear to my heart, man. You're training your son um, just like I'm doing with my sons, man. So, br brother, how, uh, get everybody caught up. But how did you get into the game of boxing? Uh, truthfully, my son got me into it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. You know, he just asked me if he can get into it. And that's what we did. He was like, uh, what? Well, I was 12, but I've been to the gym before when I was younger, probably about five or something like that, just to do something in my free time. And then I stopped going because I was just fooling around and stuff like that. And I came back when I uh, turned 12 around there. And ever since then, I like grew uh, kind of quickly. And that's what I do. My man, my man right here, Joseph Perez. Uh huh. Met him and went from there. Okay, okay. So let me. I'm going to get to Coach Joe Perez. I want to ask you this, Dominic. Yeah. Out of all the sports that you possibly can go ahead and pick, man, why boxing? Because it takes somebody – it takes a different type of animal, brother. It is, man. It's different, man. I mean, you going to the gym in the beginning, you know, I mean, receiving punches, you getting hit in the face, uh, you blocking, you may even hitting somebody in the face. I mean, that's something that, you know, you really can't fathom. So what made you really want to get into involved in boxing? It's for surely like way different than any other sport out there. Like it takes a lot of uh, time and repetition doing the same thing over and over again in the gym. But uh, honestly, it got me into it because I always like contact sports, like football, stuff like that. Like I played basketball, track, and I always like contact sports. Boxing is different. It's like football, contact sports, like fighting, or boxing, you're like really into fights. Way different than any other sports. And I think that's what uh, had me grow into it. Okay, 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 okay. So now I want to go to Coach Joseph Perez cause, because every behind every good fighter is a great teacher. Coach Joe, man, hey, everybody knows, you know, your, your resume, man. You, 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 you're good when it comes to, I don't want to say good, you're great, man. And you, if you're hearing that come from my word, from my mouth, man, it's got to be good because I don't give nobody no type of I don't, I, don't, I don't sign off on you unless you're official. So I'm telling you, brother, you are official, man. Brother, how did you meet, how did you, meet uh, you know, uh, Coach uh, Don and his son? Well, I appreciate the kind words, Coach, and, and much respect to you and your team. Um, I met Don and, and, and his son, Dominic, at a local boxing gym where I was kind of going in and just hitting the bag. You know, I, I was raised to be a respectful young man. So when I go into the room, I say hello to everybody. And, you know, I'd kind of say hello to everybody at the gym, and then I'd put my headphones on and do my own thing. And um, it was one day that this 13-year-old this, uh, kid, he kind of, like, interrupted my training, and he kind of tapped on my shoulder, and I, I took off my headphone. I said, what's up, little man? What, what can I do for you? He said, hey, man, it, it, is there anything that you think I could work on? And, you know, of course, I had already seen Dominic around the gym doing his thing. I said, yeah, man, where do you want to start? He's like, well, what do you think? And I said, well, let's, first let's teach you how to walk. So I started at the basics, even though Dom was already athletic and already had a lot of natural abilities. When he asked me to, to kind of step in and help them, I thought it was very important that I start at the basics as if he didn't know anything and started from the ground up. Very good. Very good, Coach. And, and I like how you started with the footwork, man, because you got so many – you got a lot of pros out there. And I'm like, how in the hell are you a pro when you can't even move – uh, left to right, north and south. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's boxing bases one on one. So I, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that you say you started from from the footwork, Dominic. If I was to ask you, not the best thing you're good at, but what would you say? Uh, you need improvement in, and I don't want you know. I'm, I'm I'm saying when it comes to you, like what would you say? Uh, you need improve improvement in. What would you say? Um, I say all aspects really, but um. Because, I mean, like, I'm still not the best, but there's a lot of things I need to work on. And I say um, just the same basics, like repetition of the, uh, of the basics, um, stuff like that. I mean, I'm not too, too rude, but um, stuff like that, I'd say. Okay, well, let me, let me ask you this. I got a young man, like my son. My son sees you box, and mm -hmm. he's like, you know what, Daddy? I think I want to box. Truth be told, 
what would you tell somebody coming into this sport to look forward to? Honestly, I mean, the pros, um, I mean, the positives and the negatives. I'd say, like, giving up a lot of your free time and, like, uh, sacrifice for other things, like not being able to hang out with your friends that much, um, eating clean all the time. Not all the time, but, like, just <laughs> just being focused and, um, I don't know, being willing to sacrifice a lot of other things. The box. Hey, well, like when, you, box, like when your dad be chowing down and you can't chow down like yeah, him. Yeah. And you gotta... It's like you're up there <laughs> losing weight, cutting weight. And like, I, honestly, I try to join in. Yes. Yeah. Eat around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, and you know what? And, and, and I understand that, man, because when, when it's time to cut, man, it's like everybody, everybody sacrifices. So it takes this whole team effort. Dominic, yeah. I like you, man. I, I used to play sports. I used to play basketball and I was on the basketball a lot, man. But then when I got into boxing, boxing just, I, the bug just bit me. But I think the greatest thing for me was you get in there and when you win, you win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a team yeah. effort, but you win. But when you lose, your ass lose. And you lose all by yourself. So, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, it's great, but then it can, it can be very lonely. And this is a sport uh -huh. which is very, very lonely. Coach, 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 Coach uh, Perez, I, I do want to ask you this, man, because being an athlete, and being a coach is two totally different things. And brother, what I'm learning every day, man, is being a coach is way more crucial than being a, a doggone uh, athlete, in my opinion. Because you're not just worrying about, you know, uh, their weight, but you're worrying about if you're an athlete, you know, uh, you, some, some athletes may be easy to work up. Other ones, it, it may be hard, man. You may have to go through a whole gamut of things in order to get them ready for a fight. So I want to ask you, coach, what is it that you do spe specifically – um, on your daily routine as far as keeping your mind straight so that you can so that you can go forward and train these these young hungry lions I think it's important just to note the fact that I myself was never a boxer I don't have any amateur background or professional background I was introduced to the sport of boxing through my best friend in his family his grandfather was a world-class fighter you know flew around all the world fought professionally his uncle was a professional fighter him himself turned out to be a professional fighter. So in, in their family, when they learn how to walk, they learn how to jab. And I got introduced to the sport around the age of 12, 13. I myself played 17 years of football and I would use boxing as cross training. Mm. Um, never really had the desire to compete or anything like that. But when my friend stepped into his professional career, I assisted his father, who was his coach, with the mitts, with the strength and conditioning. You know, as an athlete, I was able to push him as just a, as a training partner. Um, when Dominic approached me as, as, as a coach, what I had to do to stay sharp was just silence the naysayers. You know, there's a lot of people in the boxing world that say, oh, well, if he never fought, there's no way he could coach. He, he doesn't know what it's like and this and that. And, you know, although everybody's entitled to their own opinion, I use that as motivation to say, okay, look, maybe I never have competed in the ring, but I've damn near sparred and I've been fighting and struggling in life all, all this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push myself to stay dedicated to this craft. I'm going to study way more than you, Dom. So you have to keep up with me now. Because every day that I coach you, you're going to get better. So for me to be relevant, I have to work harder than you. So for me to stay disciplined and to stay focused, I just put in the time. You know what I mean? I put in the time. Hours of film study, hours of drills, constantly checking in with my friend who was a pro boxer and saying, hey, I'm trying this with this young man. What do you think? And he would correct me if he thought I felt that I was doing something wrong. And, you know, for me, it was just important to dedicate myself to Dominic and to really push myself to prove not only to myself, but to Dom that, you know what, if we really put the, 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 the grind and, and, and get our feet to the pavement, we're going to be all right. And, and that was something that I had to prove every day and, and still have to continue to push every day to, to stay sharp. Good. So, so, so you have a mentor, somebody that you can go back and that you can go ahead and talk to when it comes to uh, certain things, which is very good because we we all have mentors. We all have mentors. Um, I I see the USA boxing shirt on, brother, and 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 I know you you've earned that shirt, man. So, can you tell us uh, the things that um the things that you plan on doing once this pandemic, or I should say, pandemic arises? Um, first things first, I say like. Getting in the gym, 100%, uh, staying in there. And then I heard the next big tournament is in December. That's the next one. So I think focusing a lot on that. 
in in the pand- pandemic, like you said, uh, <laughs> uh, afterwards, like in the gym and just focusing up on that. And like after that, once tournaments start popping up, start hitting those and like just doing the best I can to uh, place high in those and get ranking. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, hey, Co- uh, uh, hey Dad, man, uh, I just want to uh, congratulate you, man, because you have a very good uh, young man here, man, and and, and I and I contribute that to his background, man. Uh, you can tell a lot from a from a kid or or an athlete from where they come from. It it, it begins from from home. So I just want to tell you, kudos to you, big dog. I want to ask you this, man. Um, fathers that are out there. Um, I tell them all the time, man, you know, even coaches, Coach Joe, you even know this, man, it takes a lot of time, putting time, effort into these athletes. You know, I tell anybody, I believe boxing is probably the most, one of one of the most expensive sports that you can be a part of, you know, traveling, going to tournaments, uh, uh, finding a billet, you know, places to live and stuff like that, or to stay. Um, I'm a young dad, and I've not, you know, my son or my daughter wants to box. Be real with me, man. Tell me what to expect. Man, like I said, man, I'm just – I'm learning at this, and it's – I got kids that play football, basketball. It's different, man. It's different. Like you said, it's a lot of money, and, you know, you got to deal with your wives and and your kid. You got to keep him focused, yeah. grounded. And, you know, just Mike might want to do one thing, coach want to do another, and I got something going on. You know, everybody just got to meet in the middle, man. Team domination style, all of us talk. Got you, got you. So that's good because all of you guys in the circle, in your triangle that you have, all of you talk to one another. You know, you, Coach Perez, and then Dominic, all you are, are, are all together. Like the whole thing is. Yeah, what they say, uh, uh, it takes a village to raise a child. This is our little village. That's facts. That's facts. Including you and all our other followers. Yeah, you know? it's yeah. a lot of us. Uh, the Johnsons, the Maris, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, it, yes. it, it's a lot of us. Boston community. <laughs> yeah, Coach, Coach Joe, I want to ask you this, man. Um, where do you see uh, Dominic being, uh, you know, in the future? Do you see him making a bid for the 2024 Olympics? I mean, uh, oh, I should ask you that, uh, Dominic. I'm sorry. You know, uh, do, yeah. do you want to make a bid for the 2024 Olympics? Or? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, if I stay on the track, I am not, like, trying to hit up all the tournaments and um, maintaining a high rank. I, I feel like I have a good shot at that. Okay. You, you, what, weight, what weight class are you at right now? Um, I was competing at 145, and I bumped up to 152 or 144, but then I'm, I'm going to try to go back down to 141 and make a, make okay. a little back there. Because I feel like I'm, I'm, that's where I'm best at. Got you. Got you. Coach Joe, can you, can you, can you, um, can you answer that question for me? How, what, do you, where, how, what do you see it you know, planned out as far as spaced apart, you know, as far as you know, next 2024 Olympics? <laughs> Um, I think Dominic answered the question correctly. It's really up to Dominic. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm very open with Dominic and I let him know that this is his career. You know, he, he can't, he doesn't have to do anything for me or his dad or anything. He has to do it for himself. So if the 2024 Olympics is something that he has his mindset on, I'll support him fully. If turning pro is something that he has his mindset on, we'll make sure that we take the proper steps and support him fully. Um, you know, without saying too much, boxing does have politics to it. So I think that it's important for Dom to stay sharp, to stay focused, to keep pushing himself to get better, and to make that decision when it gets a little bit closer to 2024. Um, Dominic's young in his amateur boxing career, so he has, still has a lot to learn. He's about to debut as a youth, which would be his first time fighting at youth. Um, as he mentioned, he's considering going down to the 141 weight class. I think that he should push himself to do as great as he can during youth. I would advise him to you know, do some elite fights and if he can get high enough in the rankings where politically he's, he's a force, which he has been at the junior division, then the 2024 Olympics don't, doesn't sound bad at all. Hey, I would love to see you there, brother, for real, because the last, last couple of times, you know where the, uh, the gold medals have come from, right? State of California. Oh, yeah. State of California, that's right. Oscar De La Hoya, and then after that, who was it? Andre Ward. Yep. Then hopefully it'd be you, it'd be Dominic. And then after that, it'd be my son, Diesel Stokes. So, hey, right. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, I want to get, I want to, I want to give, 
do some little fun, you know, uh, with you guys. And I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Uh, okay. I'm not so serious, but I'm going to ask you this, Coach. Who, who would you say Dominic uh, style reminds you of as far as uh, boxing-wise, if you could name somebody? Dominic's kind of a hybrid, man. Uh, one of his big influencers was Mike Tyson, so he goes out there and he tries to punish people. Uh, but to be honest, I, I kind of um, taught him a little bit of the Surdo Piña style. That's, my, that's my, co uh, my professional boxing friend's grandfather. He was a southpaw, so when Dom came to me and, and, and stood lefty, I said, hey, I myself am a lefty. Let me teach you some of this Surdo Piña style. But he's, he's, he's a hybrid, man. I think that Dominic looks up to guys like Gervonta Davis, Shakur Stevenson, uh, Mike Tyson, and all the other talented southpaws out there. Yo, hey, can't go wrong with that, man. I, my son loves Tank, man. Diesel loves Tank. He named him Southpaw, but he loves Tank. So you can't go wrong with that. Pops, I want to ask you this, man. Um, is there anybody out there that 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 you that you watch as far as like father and son type of uh, uh, relationship that 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 you find over that you like? Oh man! Every time I see my son get in the ring, I just think of Muhammad Ali, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sugar Ray Leonard because he likes to move. Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, Livingstone Grambling. Oh. Just, I just like to see him move, man. Yo, yeah, you Livingston Rostar Brumble was a killer, man. Yeah, you saw, you saw what he did to uh 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 what's what, what's the white boy name from uh uh Ohio? I can't think of a Boom Boom Mancini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did to him. So okay, okay, okay. Um, I want to ask you guys uh uh some questions. This is Tim. This is going twelve rounds with Coach Stokes. All right, you gotta. I'm ask you some questions, and you all gotta answer. You ready? Yeah. You ready, Coach Joe? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, then. With you, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, then. Hey, start off with you, Dominic. <clears throat> Dominic. Yeah. Manicure or pedicure? I got manicure. Manicures. Man. I get both. Manicure. Yeah, you yeah. Coach, Joe. Coach Joe, manicure or pedicure? I'll, I'll go with the pedicure, man. I keep my hands dirty, but it's nothing like keeping your feet right. I'm, yeah, I'm with you on a pedicure, brother. I'm I'm with pedicure. I All get right. both, Coach. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hey, Dominic. Yeah. Um. Uh, let me see, uh, Drake or uh, I already know, man. Drake, I gotta find somebody good for Drake though. Drake, Drake or Ludacris? Drake, one hundred ten percent, man. Okay, all right, yeah, I know you're a young cat, so all right, then. all right, hey, 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 pops, what about you? Man, I'm I'm straight gutter, man. <laughs> I hate to say it, man. I'm underground. Underground, so who you like? I'm gonna go with Coognut, IMP. Okay, 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 okay. And what about you, Coach Joe? I'll give Drake his props, man. He's doing his thing. Come on, man. Jake, yo, man, man, yeah, he is, he is. Hey, um, so, hey, let me ask you this as well, Dominic. Are you a hunter or a gatherer? Um, what do you mean by that? Are, are you the type that goes out and get the food, or are you just are you waiting, you know, to uh, you know, kind of passively, and you know, what I'm saying, are you to be patient and uh, I don't know, maybe maybe a little bit of both, depending. But I'd say maybe a gather, to be honest. I'm not sure. Okay, okay, pops. Me, I'm a hunter. Hunter, Coach Joe. I gotta hunt, man. If I need if I need to eat, I gotta go get it. I can't rely on nobody. Word, word, word. Okay, all right. Round number four. That's nice resolution. Let, let me ask you this, I, 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 and I'm going to ask you this last, uh, Dominic, but I'm going to start yeah. with you. Um, what is your least favorite thing about humanity? Oh, man. Humanity. It could be anything, man. We all sit back and pick colors and all that kind of stuff, man. You know, races and all that. Yeah, yeah. Racism is, is, is a problem with me, too, man. It really is. Coach Joe? I guess when people are cruel, like cruelty for no reason, I mean, I know that there's a place and time where you got to defend yourself, but when people are just cruel for no reason, like trying to deny people of, of, of basic necessities like food and water, you know, selfishness, stuff like that, that type of stuff doesn't really fly with me, man. Oh, bye. Dominic, what about you? I'd say like how selfish people became and like how greedy people became like, um, I don't know, I just seen that happen to plenty of people. Like, they'll 
be like say that group of friends like one makes it out and like I don't know it's rare that you see like them take care of the whole team or something like that but it's like the lack of like charity people give and greed people game over time something okay. like that I'm not too sure okay okay coach Joe next question for you round number five you're a new addition to a crayon box what color would you be and why green green why green that's my favorite color though now I don't know why man it's, I've just always been attracted to the color and, and it's not because it's the color of money or nothing like that it just I don't know it pops it makes my eyes look nice man hey it matches your green shirt too is that a green shirt it is a green shirt <laughs> <sir>. <laughs> we, planned that. we we planned that together big dog <laughs> hey one um, step ahead of you. yeah hey hey uh Don what, what what about you what color would you be and why yes Don okay yeah. man I'm gonna be red man I like to be hot Okay, I can I can go with that. And Dominic, I don't know a particular reason why, but I'd say like any shade of blue, like a probably a navy blue, something like that, like like this or something like that. No, no he, no he like that turquoise why. blue. Turquoise blue. Nothing, nothing okay. like that. Pretty boy, huh? Pretty boy. Something like that. Pretty boy that can fight though. Pretty boy that can fight. I love it. I love it. Okay. Hey, um, hey, uh, Don, I, I'm I'm gonna ask you this right now. Bring one back from the dead. You gotta bring one back. This is three yeah. people. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, or Nelson Mandela? I'm bringing back X. Mm, okay, okay. All right, Malcolm X. All right, for you, for you, um, Dominic, I'm going to throw a loop in there. Yeah, Martin yeah. Luther King, no, 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 no. Uh, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, or uh, Nipsey Hussle? Um, I'm a fan of Nipsey, but I'd say honestly, just pick one. Yeah, I'd say honestly, like Biggie Smalls songs more, but I'll say Tupac to be honest. Pac, yeah, yeah. Especially during this time, what's going on? You, I bet you he can really write some 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 music, mm -hmm. lyrical. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Coach Joe, and what about you? Are you talking about the artists? Yes, sir. Um, well, Tupac's still alive, man, so. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, he's out in Cuba, man. It's nah, I, it's I, 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 Tupac and Biggie were, were great influences on, on the game, and, and uh, but right now I think I'd go with Nipsey because he was the most recent to pass away, and uh, we actually visited L.A. a couple times after he passed, and you could kind of still feel the impact of, of, of his loss down there, so if we had to rewind one, I'd bring Nipsey back, man. I just think that even though God has plans for everybody, it seemed like it was just uh, too soon. Too soon for all of them. Oh, my, my bad. This just came through the wire. I, I'm mad and Kobe. I'm mad Kobe in there, too. Bring back Kobe and Nipsey, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Well, hey, this is for all you guys. You're going down a steep, snowy uh, hill, going 100 miles per hour. Where are you sitting at? In the front? Back or middle? Go ahead, Coach Joe. You go first. I'll be in the front, man, because I'm bigger than both of these guys, so hopefully I can soften their falls a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don? I'm going to be in the back, man. you see me at any fight in the back. In the back? Okay. And Dominic? I don't know. I'd be in front or the uh, be back, the back behind, the passenger, or behind the driver. I don't know. You know what? I, I said I always said I don't want to see it, but then I know the way that I am. I'm gonna be in the front because I don't know if that driver is messing up, man. I might have to throw his ass up out of there, man. <laughs> That's the type of person I am. Okay. If there is a movie produced about your life, Coach Joe, who would you want to play you and why? Damn. I got a good would one, I, baby. Come on now. Who would I want to play me and why? Yeah. I, I feel like you really stunned me on this one, Coach. What I'm playing me and why? <laughs> Pablo Escobar, but he's dead. Who? Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar, but he's dead. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, man. I'm going to have to think about this one. Is Denzel an option? Can I get Denzel to play me? <laughs> Whoever, yeah. No, he's, one of, he's one of my favorite actors, so that would be an okay. honor, man. Denzel, okay, all right. I'm all right, uh, uh, Coach Don, who would you want to uh, play you? What's his name? Uh, Khalif Fife, whatever. Who? What's his name? What's his name? Khalif Fife. Makai Pfeiffer. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He nice. Makai Fiber. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. He can be a show about it. Okay, all right, all right. And what about you, Dominic? Dude, I think Michael B. Jordan, to be honest. You know, he's in a few boxing movies, uh, too. Hey, I, I asked that question. <laughs> Every young guy says Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Because the chicks love him, huh? I mean, that's one of the reasons. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people tell me I look like him too. Okay, okay, all right, all right. We wrapping up. We getting down to round number nine. Yep. Choose an athlete from the past you love to train, Coach Joe. Uh, does it have to? Does it have to be boxing or any athlete, any sport? Any athlete, any athlete. Man, I wouldn't mind training with Ray Lewis. Man, I always found him real inspirational. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Coach, uh, Coach Don, what about you? Man, I'm going to go with your boy, Bo Jackson. Oh, that's what Ooh. I was Ooh. That's what I was saying, honestly. Oh, man. Hey, Coach Joe, man, that's running neck and neck. I don't know if Bray can get with jo with Bo, man. <laughs> Great minds think alike, man. Ah, dog. <laughs> man, that's good. And what about you, Dominic? Me, honestly, like, there's a lot. Or I'll name my top three. I'd say... No, I don't even like young singers like that. I'd say Bo Jackson, like he said. Okay. Um, Mike Tyson, you know, he's a beast in boxing. And uh, Herschel Walker, I've always been a fan of Herschel Walker. Oh, okay. Yeah, Herschel was a monster. He still is a monster. Shoot. Yeah. He was a thousand he was in MMA fights? He, he had an MMA fight, man. A UFC yeah. fight, something like that. What, he's like 50-something years old now? Yeah, like 51 or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Going to round number 10, what is your favorite country that you visit if you've ever been out of the States? Have you guys, any of you guys been out of the States yet? Yeah. Out of the state. Out of the country. Out of the country. Um, I, grew up, I grew up in a Mexican border town, so I have a lot of uh, fun experiences going to certain, like, beach places in Mexico. Um, and I was fortunate enough to go on a cruise to the Bahamas once. That, that was pretty cool. Okay. Okay, the Bahamas. I, I haven't been there yet. I'm 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 kind of uh, living vicariously through you right now, but I I, I aim to be there one day. So by, yeah, by, they, by Jamaica though is there anything they like had this? They had this shellfish out there called like like conch or something oh, like that, and it, and it was phenomenal, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll never forget it. Conch, yeah, conch. What about what about you, uh, Coach uh, Coach Dom? What about in, in the uh, U.S.? I've been out is Mexico, man. Mexico. I've been I've been to several places in Mexico. Uh, uh, Michigan, uh, Oaxaca was a nice place. Oaxaca was real nice. Okay, okay. Dominic, you been? Any, uh, what about you? Uh, I've been to Cuba. That that's probably a real nice place. But that's all I've been to out of country. Really? How was Cuba? Yeah. It was. It was nice, really, like real nice, because it's way different. Like, like when I go to the city, like San Francisco and all that, like you see like modern cars and all that. But I've been, I go to Cuba and like their city is like. Just classic cars, like I don't know, it's just way different. Okay, okay, yeah, I, I love the visit again. All right, Coach, uh, Coach Don, what animal would you say is your animal spirit? My animal spirit, man. It could be I have quite a few of them. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna go with my gorilla first. Silverback. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. My protect my crowd. I look and observe at everything. Right, right. Mm -hmm. On guard. On guard. What about you, uh, Coach Joe? Um, what, what was the question one more time, just to make sure I got it? What is your spirit animal? I'm going to say lion, man. King of the jungle. Okay. All right, all right. I actually, lion. just had, I actually just had a, my firstborn son born about 17 months ago, so I, I'm trying to tr train my little cub on how to be a lion himself. Oh, man, you ain't got to do that, man. He's watching you, so he's going to pick up everything. Hey, remember this. You were him before he was he. You ain't got to worry about that. You good. You good to go, big dog. Dominic, what is your spirit animal? Me? I don't know, because I feel like I'm, like, a real mellow, cool person, but I don't know, like, sometimes, like, when you're boxing, like, you snap like that and just got to change your mentality. I don't know. Maybe, like, a – I say a gorilla, but I don't know he took that. So, maybe, like, a – what is that? You must say. <laughs> yeah, so you uh, a silverback in training then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said, like, you must say. All right, then. All right. Um, so this is my last question. 
This is a three-part question. This is for each of you gentlemen here. I'm going to start with Coach, um, with Coach Joe. If you could make the perfect boxer coach using offense, defense, and um, ring IQ, of course, who, who would you pick? So starting off with offense, who would you, who, who would you take offensively that you would like to uh, uh, design a boxer for? Offensively, man, I really admired Julio Cesar Chavez, senior. Yeah. Yeah. For real. He, he was something special, man. He was, he was totally different, for real. Chavez Sr., I mean, unfortunately, I mean, God, dog, his son, man. Man, do you think, do you think, do you think all the pressure applied to his son was, some, was something that was difficult for him to overcome? I mean, I, I, I've seen the game. Uh, it's, it has a huge mental aspect to it. I think in, in, in his prime, when he was focused, he, he was a good boxer as well. But I just don't think he had to go through the same things his father had to go through on his way up. So somewhere along the lines, it just, I don't know, man. I used to be a big fan of Junior as well, but he's kind of let me down one too many times to vouch for him anymore. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Um, Dominic, who's your favorite fighter offensively? Offensively? There's a lot. I mean, uh, so so there's five different categories. You said offensive, defensive, IQ, and offensive. Right now, uh, for offense, I'll pick Mike Tyson. Honestly, I'm okay. talking about him. For offense, I'll pick him. You never go wrong, go wrong with that. You you yeah, yeah. you think he's gonna? You think they're gonna push uh, for him to come back and do that? Um, and do that charity uh, boxing. I've been, seeing all, I've been seeing all the videos of him in training. It looks like he's, he hasn't like lost it at all. It looks like he still got it. Yo, hey, hey, I, I, I swear I saw a yeah, picture of him. Years old, it's crazy. Yeah, man, I saw a picture of him with his gut out, and then like a week later, I'm like, wait, where'd the gut go? He, <laughs> straight up. He, he's yeah. one of those super athletes. He, he, I don't know. He just has it like that. Muscle memory. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Dad. Dad, who's your favorite fighter offensively? Man. I'm gonna say Roy Jones because he did it outside oh, the that's, box. That's a good one, man. Very good, God dog. He, he didn't have no real, real form. His IQ, he knew where he wanted your body to go, yeah. and he'll direct you there. Yeah, Roy doing this prom. Yeah, he was something. Yeah, he was he was totally different. He's a different animal as well. Yeah. Defensively, Coach Perez. We're gonna have to. We're going to have to go with the late Purnell Sweet P. Whitaker, man. A smooth, defensively sound southpaw. Yeah, yeah. Who, who gave Chavez a hell of a run for his money. Hey, hey, Chavez, hey, come on, man. Go wrong with Chavez. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. We, I, that was, that was kind of sketchy, that fight out there. We were Chavez. talking about politics earlier, man. Big time, yeah, yeah. You, you, and you in this game long enough, you got to play politics, unfortunately. Um, Chavez, um, man, you can't take nothing from him. He was one of those ones. It, 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 is that your same one too, uh, Sweet Pea? Yeah. Okay. Dominic? Uh, honestly, I say Floyd Mayweather, not because he's like – people say he's the greatest or whatever, but uh, because like how long he lasts in his career without, without taking like too much damage, focusing on defense a lot, especially in the end of his career. Yeah. And, like towards the end of his career. Yeah, definitely. I agree. That's, that's, that's a good analogy right there. Last one, ring generalship, ring IQ, Coach Joseph Perez. Who we got? I'm, I'm very interested in hearing who you're going to say, ring IQ. I got to give it to Floyd, man, because as many times as I thought he was going to come short or whatever, he always figured out a way to win. Um, but now that Floyd's retired, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from Canelo Alvarez, man. Canelo, okay, okay. We we gotta talk about that. Uh, it, it, we gotta talk about something else too because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get off topic. But does Canelo want Benavides? I don't think he want Benavides. Benavides, Benavides is a problem. Benavides is a beast, man, and I'm a big fan of like the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy, and I've seen many interviews where they talk about he's been a beast since he was 15 sparring grown men. So that's somebody in his weight class. I don't think he should rush to fight. I think he made a smart decision fighting a guy like Kovalov at 75, but. Yeah. Coming back down to 68, I mean, you, you got to be careful, man. There's some hitters. But the thing about Canelo and his IQ is I, I love the way he listens to his team. He listens to his coach. I really have seen his evolution getting better. And I think that he learned a lot from the first guy I mentioned. I think he learned a lot from the Floyd fight. Without a doubt. 
without a doubt. Yes, it made it made the whole style a whole lot better. It really did. Coach John, what about you? I'm a rock. He, I like the, I like the redhead Mexican man. Word. Okay, Canelo. Okay, okay. And what about Everybody you? Knows that. Um. What was it? Ring generalship. Ring generalship. Yep. Ring I- IQ smart. Ring IQ. I think I think Lomachenko's really up there. And um, I was gonna say Canelo too, but I I I picked Lomachenko honestly because his ring IQ is up there. I believe. Man, yeah, I'm I'm shocked at all y'all. Y'all from we from the, y'all from the Bay, right? Andre Ward. Man, come on, man. It's Andre, come on, man. It's Dre. <laughs> of course, he's the goat, man. I'm thinking, I'm thinking active, active fighters right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're saying. No, I, I didn't forget about Ward. No, no. You you can never go wrong with any any gentleman that you said, man. But yeah, I love Andre because Andre just he don't look like a boxer. He's a gentleman outside of the ring, you know. But then if you look in his eyes, you see him, you be like, hold up, it's something about him. Cause don't make him mad. You can you can tell he will switch on your ass, and that'll be uh, it. Uh, that reminds me at the gym when when he was like, "Show me your shirt real quick." Dog. We uh, uh went to the gym a couple of times with Andre. Okay, good, good, good. My son, he kind of I met Andre on a Bart train when he probably don't even remember this, but we used to get on a Bart train when he went to King's Gym, and um. I see this kid, you know, he was no older. He was a little, uh, probably younger than Dom is right now, about 14, 15, getting on a bar train, go to King's Gym. And I said, what you doing, man? You be boxing? He's like, yeah, I'm going to be a boxer. I left for a few years and came back home. Everybody talking about this dude, Andre Ward, Andre Ward, Andre Ward. Yeah. When I seen him, I said, man, I know that kid. You know, and he just went back to the bar. You know, and then when I see my son getting good, I was like, man, he look like that young kid I've seen on Bart. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And I think before, I told Joe that story a couple of times. Yeah. Before you know it, man, uh, I just want to tell you this, uh, Dominic, man, listen, continue to listen to your dad, man, because he's yeah. your biggest supporter. He's always going to be there for you. And most importantly, listen to your coach, man, because yeah. your coach and your dad – Working hand in hand, man, and 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 to to me, I feel like a boxer and a coach's relationship is the second most strongest, powerful thing besides a dad and a son. Simple as that, man. So you got two stand up guys, stand up brothers, man. That I that I that I, I honestly say that I I like, man. I like your your coaches is, is a stand up guy, and your your pops is is is, is one hundred, man. Continue to listen to them, to them, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, before we get off, is there anything that you would like to say, Dominic, to all the kids that's out there, man, that's coming up, that's watching you, or to any, you know, any words of advice for somebody that want to get into boxing? Um, I say just take your time and don't rush it. And like when you're doing it, like continue to like stay motivated and find something to keep you pushing while doing it. Like because I see a lot of people get bored and burnt out, but just find something to keep you motivated and to keep pushing. And, and be patient with it. Like, don't try to rush it. Like, a, when I was always coming up, like, they always told me it's a marathon, not a race. And just take your time and be patient. Yes. Y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard it from this young man. It, it's not going to It's not gonna be overnight. It's not like when you're watching Creed or Rocky. It's going to yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> come in like that. A lot of people, they watch They watch, they watch the movie. movie. Come in. <laughs> right, right, right. Coach Joe, uh, um, Coach uh, – uh, Coach John, uh, I'm going to get to you uh, uh, last because you, you the dad, man. I, I really want you to speak out to these fathers. But, Coach Joe, could you, could you please talk to any coaches out there um, that, are, that are pondering about getting to the fight game? Um, let them know exactly what to look forward to, you know, because, you know, it's up and down. You know, I mean, this sport right here, I mean, what we're doing, man, is it can burn anybody out. So can, can you let them know what to expect? Yeah, for any new coach who's thinking about getting into boxing, uh, don't be discouraged on, like, the things that you think you don't know. Just find your why, meaning why do you want to do this? For me, for example, when it was with Dominic, my why was to not let him down, to make sure that when he got into that ring, he knew that I had his back and, you know, he would be just as good as his strong corner. So just be, just don't be discouraged on the things that you think you might not know. Just be ready to put in work and keep pushing yourself to get better every day. If you can find your why and you're willing to put in the work, I think any young coach out there will be fine in due time, man. Salute. 
Appreciate that, Coach. And last but not least, to the brother that made this young man possible, Big Don. Hey, for any any fathers out there, man, any 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 game for us, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, not push your kids so hard. You know, let your kid grow up and make his own little decisions, and you kind of got to guide him a little bit too. They're gonna fight you at a certain age, but you gotta kind of kick back. You know, I'm learning this stuff, you know, from my mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I'm yeah. giving it to y'all so y'all don't make it, <laughs> you know. Free but game. it doesn't get hard. It's, it, I mean, it's harder than, it's more harder than having fun all the time, you know. Yes. I and, think. you know, just take the ride with your kid, man, because that's what you're doing, trying to raise a young man besides a boxer. Appreciate that. Hey, but last but not least, I uh, want you guys to go around. Uh, for those that would like to follow you guys on social media or, or, or like you, Coach Joe Perez, if, if they're looking for a, a, a great boxing coach, somebody who's there, who's going to be there from beginning to end, how do they get in contact with you, Coach Joe? Um, real simple, man. On Instagram, it's my first and last name. So J-O-S-E-P-H underscore P-E-R-E-S, man. And don't be a stranger. Hit me up. You heard that. Coach Don. Hey, how did they contact you on social media? Man, I'm at Showbody, one real. Got a little pause. You there, Coach? Coach Joe, you got a pause too for, with him? No, I'm, I'm right here. I think we might have lost them, but give them a second to come back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, can you, can you repeat that again? Yeah, can you repeat that again? You froze. Oh, oh, mine or his? No, uh, uh, yours, uh, Show About. Okay, that's Show About It, One Real G, 24-7. Sorry, that did it wrong. Huh? <laughs> uh, it, it's just Show About It, 24-7. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Uh, Instagram, uh, on Instagram, you can find me at Team Domination 415. Yeah. Team Domination? Yeah, yep. And then any other boxes out there, like like younger boxes, older boxes, anything like that, they can always like text me advice, anything like that, hit me up. All right, Don, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way because I'm pretty sure they're going to be blowing me up in my DMs. But do you got a girlfriend? I know the girl's going to want to know this shit. Yep, I do. Take it now. Hey, ladies, so you heard that. He got a girl. All right, so don't be blowing me up. I know I'm going to get some DMs, DMs, but still, he got a girl. Yeah. Hey, this is Coach Stokes. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Stokes House Boxing Academy. I'm going to catch you guys on, on the flip in, and I'm Oh, yeah. Thanks, coach. Hey.